Hey, what's happening guys? Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. So, I did not really like take a look at all the items that were available to me when I made this and um I'm sure I ha I'm recording this in the same sitting as the last episode, but I'm pretty sure somebody said something. Uh, there are gates. There are smaller road gates. If I go to items here, objects, there's an actual there's actually a smaller road gate that looks way better like this. Like It just looks like it's gonna do the job much better. We also have these posts here, these small posts. And this is good for like, I, I, I would assume it's good for like these gates and stuff to like sort of link up and look good. So, you know what, I can try that. I, I think we're gonna try that. So let's put in, uh, these are all hooked up now to the dwarf servos. So these things are gonna open up. It's all gonna look nice. I'm going to leave it the way it is for the most part because I think it looks okay right now. But these large jail doors are going to get swapped out for uh, these smaller road gates. So I'm going to go ahead and have them get on this pretty quickly here. I've been letting it run just a little bit. And it's pretty pretty cold outside. It's under freezing right now even though it says summer. Which is kind of odd, but alright. Alright, so this is done. Now we need to put in the small road gate here. And that's pretty much it. I, that's pretty much all I'm going to change. I could maybe have like a post here instead of the instead of the fence. That's probably something I could do. So I could try that. And then if I did do this, I'm sure it would probably replace. I'm not sure how that works. But you know what? Let's try it. Let's try this. If I go like this and then like this, I wonder what that will look like. I'm just curious. Let's have them get on that. They're starting to sell things in the forestry. Very nice. They're going to put some trees in here and go. The entire thing about them escaping is now like a moot point, if you will. They're not going to do that anymore. We can dismantle this as well and replace it with a, uh, a road gate if we want to, which I will do as soon as they're done doing that. I can also replace these posts and stuff. Might as well get that order put in right now. They're pretty cheap, these posts. They're pretty cheap. And then I don't have the the little thing on the road where the cars are going to go over and open the gates. I don't have that. I think that mod, uh, and I might be wrong, but I think that mod was slowing me down in the last in, in the last series. I think that mod was uh, uh, something's something's up with it. I think so. I'm not going to bother with it this time. Let's hook these things up to power. We're getting a whole bunch of stuff done, like logistics wise. Getting it set for automation. We're trying to get myself prepared for a more automated uh, management of like the prison and stuff. Let's get this set up down here, here, and here. That we'll get on that, and then all of this stuff needs hot water. Still, sorry, must have forgot about that. Whoops! What did I just do? I don't know. I don't think I did anything. Never mind. What else do we need to do here? Okay, so this here wasn't getting water. It wasn't getting uh, water from this, right? I even extended this by two, and it's still not quite enough to get it there. Uh, I don't want to extend it any further because that actually puts this pipe into the cell, and I don't want the big pipe to be under the cell, even though this right here is too close already, but it's a family cell, and the toilet's on this side of it, so I'm kind of hoping, but... We'll see. Anyway, we're going to hook it up here. So this pipe gets hooked in, and that's going to hook it in. I think that will reach. We need that to reach. Then we finally designated this as the staff room. So this is a staff room here. This is all staff only, so they should be using these toilets. Oh, we got a shovel. We found a shovel. Wow. A full-on spade, man. Samantha Godwin. Locked down. Locked down. Got a stack of logs here. Can probably just sell that. Just sitting there in the open. Did we get this done? Yes, we did. Okay, cool. Objects. Road gate. Let's pop that into place. Uh, so we'll have the door controllers opening up the roads for a little while. That's not that big of a deal. Kind of want to take a look at these. It looks like they just kind of go over top of the other ones. Unless there's... If this door won't close, it's because of this being in the way. This is marked urgent, so I'm hoping they move it. It's kind of a security risk. Material duper. Place next to edge of map on a material. Click to copy that material to the edge of the map. I don't know. 
I, I don't know what. A lot of the stuff is new stuff to me, and I don't really know what it does, so. Prisoner bus stop sign. A stop sign so the prisoner bus driver knows where to stop can be placed left or right next to a single lane road. Uh, press the unload button to toggle which prisoners should be unloaded at this bus stop. So if I had, for example, a medium security up here and then I did maximum security down here, I might have two reception areas. And I, maybe I don't want the maximum security prisoners to get off where the medium are. Maybe I don't want them to ever mix. So I could have a bus stop that says, hey, bus driver, drop the medium ones off here and then come down here and drop the max off. That way, like they're already kind of where they need to be. That's something that's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but it's there if I want it. That's kind of nice. You can also specify if these prisoners will be brought to reception as new intake or directly to their new cell. Uh, you can use several bus stops on several roads, but once a prisoner bus stop at a reception... Oh, once a prisoner bus stops at a reception, then everybody will be unloaded there. I see. It's modded content. I'm not going to be... not really worried about that part, but... <sighs> okay, so in this episode, what did I want to get to? Well, I wanted to make sure the place is secure, first off. And I think I've done that pretty well. I also wanted to make sure that everybody stays warm. Because temperature, especially being 2C, it wasn't under 1. Uh, temperature is a big deal. I've been putting these uh, radiators in a whole bunch of places. And I think we're getting pretty close here. The only places that we're not warm now are places that don't have... Uh, the radiator is going to have to go in every parole room. Uh, and then there's radio going in the workshop, which looks like it's hooked up. No, it's not. Not sure why it's not giving me the... Oh, it's not installed yet. Right. Okay. So, like, we're getting... I'm getting stuff organized. I'm kind of getting stuff in there. But it's taken um, quite a bit of time to, like, get everybody, you know, warm. Make sure everybody stays warm. So, yeah. I'm going to place some more pipes and stuff. We're making some pretty decent money. And... We've cleared all of the grants. All of them are clear. We can take all new things now, which is great. So I'm going to take max sec infrastructure implementation to $20,000 advance plus $20,000 completion bonus. And take a look at the requirements, right? Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor. Already did that. Unlock tasers. Already did that. Build a CCTV monitor. Did that. Place CCTV monitors throughout your prison. Cool. Hit that. And we're done. <laughs> Already did it. Uh, carpentry apprenticeship program. This one takes a long time. It's finding superior. It's making superior beds, but this one, tool cleanup, doesn't take that much time. Uh, remove the supply of tools and weapons. So grab that. We're also going to grab cell block C, and then I'm going to do a shakedown. And maybe we can remove all the supply of stolen weapons and tools. And if we can remove all of them, then we satisfy that grant, which is nice. So we'll have fifty-seven thousand three ninety-nine so far. That does not count. Uh, any type of consulting fee we end up getting uh, money with. So hopefully we'll get some consulting fees here. Let's go ahead and speed up the time. Uh, and then... Well, we we're already 31% of the way to this one. But... I'm not going to do... I'm going to keep our prisoner count at 50. I'm going to lock us at 50. But I'm not going to do much more else other than that. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to hire... A lawyer, because we have the legal team here. So let's get prisoner information system started. But in order to in order to actually get that started, I need a, a lawyer. So let's grab the lawyer and put him near his office. He'll go and he'll go to his office eventually, anyway. Actually, he won't because it's not designated as an office. So let's designate it as office. Where is office? Here we go. That is your office, sir. So go on ahead over there. And now you can research the prisoner information systems. And what we can do is we'll basically set up the prisoner information booth to be pretty much like right here. And so as the prisoners walk close to it, or we'll set it up in reception somewhere, right? But as prisoners walk close to it, it will profile them. I think that's how the object works. As far as like a game mechanic goes, I think that's how the object works. I could be wrong. Maybe it what happens right at... Maybe it happens right at intake. I could just put it, like, right here. If it doesn't have to be manned by a person, I could just set it right here, and then as they walk past it through this door, they'll all get profiled. So that's an interesting way to go about it. I'm not sure. Um, another thing I want to do, I moved this. I, I took this door out, and I replaced it with just a wall. So I'm not entirely sure where the visitors are going to come in now, but I have a feeling they're going to come in through this staff door. And I don't want them to. I want them to come through the main entrance, like per usual. So, I want to take objects. I'm going to go to... There's two things. I'm going to add a metal detector here. 
because we need to get them doing that. And then I want to add a staff door. I think a staff door. Maybe a, actually maybe a really heavy door. Doesn't make much sense to have a heavy door with a light fence though, does it? All right, maybe we'll do a jail door here and then we'll hook it up to one of the remotes like this. And then as they come through here, it makes more sense then to have this be outside then, doesn't it? Right here. As they come through here, they'll get they'll go through the metal detector and stuff and everything will be fine. The prisoners will then have to come around and go through the same door and they'll get through the metal detector as well. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, I want, in deployment, I want to guard in this area at all times just to manage this whole area and make sure that nobody can escape and get out and all that stuff. So we need a prisoner or we need a guard in there at all times. Look at that. We got some, got some export happening. Huh? Our workshop. We don't have enough people in the workshop to actually able to work. So I'm, I'm really needing that to happen too. Let's get this done and then we can bring this up like this. That should connect all that. This is going to come all the way down from here. I'm hoping that's long enough. Oh, it's not going to be long enough because this water pumping station is in the way. We're going to have to go around the water pump station. So let's go like this and then over like that. That should work. And get that started, guys. I need all of these rooms to have great temperatures. Except the morgue. I don't really care about the morgue, to be honest. It doesn't. It's not that important to me. The, the, the dead bodies, if they're in there, they probably want it to be cold in there anyway, right? So, not worry about it. We're going to have to add another capacitor because I'm adding more of these door openers and things like that. So, let's just... Uh, we have the money. I'm going to max this out. I'm going to max that out. And I'm going to keep making things priorities like this because... Um, I don't know what these guys are up to, but I, I'd rather just get this stuff done. And so, every time I make something that I want done pretty quickly... I'm going to tell them to do it as a priority. And then things like cell creation, like, for example, cloning the cell. I don't need to do the walls. I can just do the interior like this. Something like that, it doesn't matter as much to me. So whatever, just make it. It's fine. I'm thinking we need more dogs, though. We have these guys patrolling up these cells, which is kind of cool. But I feel like we need more protection here against tunnels. So I'm going to put another one in here, and I think I'm going to have uh, a dog patrol. It's already here. That's fine. Let's extend this down a little bit here. Let's have another dog patrol here. Uh, maybe actually one line in. Like this. Like that. So three dog patrols here. I also think it's probably a good idea to put one like in the canteen. So maybe we have one of the dogs sniffing around in the canteen as well. And then a last series, it proved to be quite good. I'll have another dog sniffing around in storage. Uh, I mean, maybe not storage, maybe deliveries. You know, if we have another dog sniffing out here, that's probably a good idea. And then we can extend deliveries if I ever find it. Here we go. We can extend deliveries all the way down to where the garbage is. Kind of like this. And like there'll be a dog kind of sniffing around out here too. Which is probably good. Let's move garbage. Uh, garbage. Garbage. Let's move garbage. Let's move it to be down here. Like that. And then we'll keep we'll keep deliveries. Yeah, right there. Right there. I think maybe a little bit further down is fine. And maybe take a little bit off the top. We don't need it quite up there that high. Okay. So that's going to be good. I think since these guys are coming through here a lot, I will probably will put a metal detector right here. Since they're using this a lot. Uh, maybe not. Maybe maybe closer like here. Because they're going to come through here anyway. It's probably a good idea. Make sure this has power. This should be good enough. Yep, that should be good enough. Uh, we need power down here as well. Let's make sure that's hooked up. And we got some hot water. It's getting going. It's getting going. It's almost ready. Okay, so we've got all this set up. We can see pretty much everywhere in the prison at all times with the cameras. Everything's hooked up there. We've got these doors, which are open. Why is it locked open? See, this is the problem. These doors are not going to respond well. 
for not doing what they're supposed to do. Like, this door is locked open. Open on trigger is what it's supposed to be. If I close... Um... Door servo. Clear connections. Like, what happens if I clear these connections, right? Nothing. Like, the, the whole doors are staying open. Which is a really bad thing. I don't want them to stay open. Let's clear these posts. I don't think these are necessary anymore. Looks like I could just sell them back, which is... I don't know what they're doing. Like, I don't know what good they are. I thought they were good for aesthetics, but if they're just gonna... If they're messing up the doors, if they're messing up the gates, then I want them gone, you know? I'm not sure what's going on there. This gate is still open. I think it's these servos. I think being connected to a door controller is just causing them to stay open. If I say close on trigger, what does that do to the door? Nothing. It just stays open. Clear the connections on these. Um, it's just staying open. It's not closing. Let's go back to the door controller here. You can see it's not connected here. If I connect it, like, is he going to close it? I, I just don't think so. This is the biggest problem I have with this. Is that, That's why I got the road things before, because I couldn't hook these up to the roads. I, I actually got that mod particularly because of this, or specifically because of this. But now I can't close the door. Let's clear the connections on this. So there's no remote doors now. Are these gates going to close? No, they're just locked open. I can't close them. Dismantle the road gate, please. This one's closed, but this one's just locked open. It makes no sense. Like, at all. I can't even mark this as staff only. Uh, oh, because it's open right here. Well, we need to change that, don't we? Yeah, look at all the visitors. They're just going to walk through there. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I, I'm going to have to change that, yeah, for sure. Yep. All right, road gate's been dismantled. Now let's uh, see what we can do here about putting another one in. Road gate. It won't let me put it here. Is this a... This is odd, man. That's really odd. I don't know. Road gate here. I'm not sure if it's going to put the posts in or not. That's a weird thing. I think maybe those posts I put in messed it up. So let's see if I can sell these posts. Ah, see, I sold the post, and it, it locks it. It shuts right up. I think that's what it was. I think it was the post messing it up. I bet it was the post. Because now they're going to install this road gate, and then what happens then? It's going to spawn new posts, right? Isn't that how that's going to work? I think I'm going to go with that. We'll see how that we'll see how that happens. Here we go. How's that going to happen? Yes, there's new posts, and it closes now. Good. So let's hook it up to this again. Door control system. Connect. We want to hook it up to all the remote doors. So here, here, here. Uh, the ones at the front, like this, uh, this one here, and then we also want, uh, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. I'll probably put one here, but for now I don't really care. Yeah, that's all of them. So then we'll put one here and here, and then we'll also put one here and here. Okay. So they're all connected now. They should be opening and closing like they should be. Hopefully they are. Cash flow is meh. Oh man. All right, so now, next question. Well, first off, hang on, let's do this. Let's 
Let's make sure this is hooked up to power. We, we want to make sure these guys are uh, are getting hit by that. Got the... Nope, this is not getting connected. It says there's no access to this. Is there really no access to that, or are you just, like, messing with me? Because you should be able to get here by going through here. The guards... The... Ooh, actually... Yeah, hang on. This is locked down. Yeah, it's totally locked down. So let's um, let's add a staff door here, and that should let them get through this area. Now they can get back here to install these electrical cables and stuff. So that's good. Uh, I've added an extra cooker because it looked like the cooks were using it, and it, they are. Uh, or it looks like they could need it. And then I also added two additional fridges, which they filled immediately. Because uh, I saw this happening. And now I'm thinking, like, I need another fridge. So maybe we'll add one more fridge. Like, I don't like that. I think I like this more. Maybe we'll add two more fridges like that. And they're using the cookers, so I think I might as well add uh, another set. Yeah, I think so. Let's add another two cookers here. That's probably a good idea. And then let's add another sink back here too, because we can. They're hooked up to the hot water. I don't think they need the cold water, because they have the hot water, so we'll just leave it. There's an extra cooker. It's got power. No, but it's going to have power now. And then that will give it power, and then they can use the other cooker if they want to as well. Good. Good, good, good. So, like I was saying before, what now? Well, there's several rooms we don't have. One, we only have one common room. Probably time to get another one. But uh, I think before we get the common room, I want to invest in some of the things that are going to address their needs, like their specific needs that they have. And one is literacy. Literacy is a big thing. Spirituality is another big thing. And if I can get these two down, they're going to be a bit, especially spirituality, I can get them to, like, be a lot more docile. Because they're starting to fight. They're starting to get starting to get things into the prison like this, right? And I, I'm okay with them getting contraband into the prison. I'm okay with that. As long as I catch it before... Like if I have a really great in-prison detection system, then by the time they bring it in here, I'll get it before they can actually use it. That's what I'm trying to do with this. So if you're wondering, like, why doesn't he have this? And why is he doing this to stop the contraband? It's like, I want them to bring it into the prison. I just want to catch it. Like, as soon as they bring it in, I want to catch it. And the reason for that is because of Akinova's ability, this consulting fee. I get to sell this stuff. It, it gets me money. It's basically like the prisoners calling up their parents and saying, hey, bring in money for the warden is basically what they're doing. As long as I can catch it in time, which is good. $20,000 grant completion is good. So it looks like we completed another grant. Fantastic. I think this is time. I think it's time for reform through education. I'm going to grab that. And then with the remaining money here, I'm going to make a short-term investment. So, do we get the 37 minutes? Here we go. Here we go. Tax saving, baby. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. Now, why is this stalled? Why is that not getting researched? Why is it stalled? This is still running. 2321. Uh, 2330 is when I paused it. Now it's running. Really odd. Weird stuff happening, guys. I don't know. Should I get tasers? Eh, it's expensive. I'm gonna get tasers. Okay, so. I want to start building this facility right here. This is this, these markers that you see. I want to start building this, but I'm going to have to do it in waves because it's super expensive. I'm going to have to do it in waves. So I'm going to start with this side. And I think I'm going to start with this much. This little bit here. I think that's a good chunk to start with. And we can do it like this. And then I'll also get this bit here. So it's a nice structure like this, right? Uh, what will happen is 
this wall is going to end up being there's going to end up being a door which will allow them to get through this area right so that's what this is going to be uh, then i think because i can afford to do it i'm going to actually maybe do a little bit of work on the flooring in here and i think what i want to do is i want to put a metal floor i want it to be metal i think i want all the cells to have metal floors actually I haven't decided this yet. Maybe I should decide before I start spending the money on it. The metal floor is fast movement. So I'm kind of thinking the, the metal floor should be what they move with. So how about I go like this? Uh, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to wait on that. I, I made the mistake before about beautifying and then not having them. I'm going to wait. I'm going to make sure that this stuff is functional before we before we start beautifying the place. So let's do that instead. My my My, my bad. That's, that's what I want to say. My bad. I can't decide if I should put more phones in. Oh, speaking of phones, we need to tap these things. So let's grab uh, connect. And we want to start monitoring the calls of these four phones with that one. And then we're going to monitor the calls with these four phones with this one. There we go. So we'll be able to listen in on calls now, which is good. I don't think there's phones anywhere else. So if they're going to make a call, they have to do it in the yard right there. Maybe I should put some inside the canteen. Because they don't have yard time. They have they can have canteen time like twice. Yeah, I think I should. Maybe I put them right at the middle. Could use another serving table here, but... Yeah, let's do another serving table here, and then... How about for the phones? I could always just set them along this wall. I kind of like the idea of putting them along this wall. What if I swap? What if I move these tables a little bit over? Mm. You know what? Like, I don't know. Something's something about putting them in the middle of the floor here actually seems kind of cool. We get a nice view of them all the time. You know, the guards can sniff them out while they're making calls. I, I don't know. I kind of like this idea. I'm digging it. I don't know why. I just am. I'm going to put a phone booth thing in the middle of a canteen like this. And we'll put 12 phones in. Which means I'm going to need more monitoring stations. So, let's get a couple more phone taps. And let's start actually expanding this way with it. There we go. And I'm going to give them chairs so they can sit in. Have comfort while they're monitoring things, right? We can get their comfort need. See, he has a really big comfort knee, but she's on a chair. This is another thing I don't like. Some of these, some of the times, these guys get their like they get needs building up when they shouldn't. Like for example, this guy has this person has a comfort need that's way high. She's sitting in a chair. You know, this guy comfort need way high again, sitting in a chair. It's just really bizarre. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. People injured here. Seriously injured. Uh, I do have maximum people mixed in with men. I do. Uh, and I need to work on that too. Speaking of which, can I get my informant? I do have one. Let me get my informant. 44% coverage, but I might be able to get something out of her. I'm going to actually grab her. This one's extremely deadly. Got a couple of gang members. What's the gang situation like? Two and two. Green and blue. Alright. Grab my confidential informant. Let's take let's take the informant all the way over to this area. Which is not a quick process because of how I've got the place designed. So I need to get this done. So what I want to do is I'm gonna put in the door. The large jail door goes here. I think it's here, or maybe it's here. It's right here. Yes, it goes here. So the door's gonna go here. Then we're gonna get a door servo on that door there. Uh, and we're gonna hook that up and everything's gonna be great. Uh, I can probably move this to be, like I can probably move this whole line to be down this wall. Might be better to do that. Uh, mm, yeah, but see, now I can't really target it without taking out the pipes, too, I think. And it doesn't matter. It, it's, it's whatever. It's a couple, It's electrical wire. Like, it's $10 per square, which is a, it's kind of expensive, but I think it'll be okay. 
Okay, I think. I really would like to take I really would like to get rid of it though. I really would like to get rid of this and put it down here instead. Oh well. Uh, I don't, I'm not gonna. I'll just I'll just do this. I'll just take a I'll take the line and like put them through here, and that'll get them to every cell. You know, because I'm worried about it not being able to get to these cells when I build them. But it's not that big of a deal. It'll be fine. Okay, so with that door in place, we should be able to say that this is now staff only. Great. Let's go ahead and pause it. Oh, I can't pause it. Ha! Can't pause it. Uh, let's go intelligence, informant, and we can see what we can see. There's drugs. There's cell phones in this cell. We're going to search here. And we're going to search also up in here. So, uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and deactivate him. Say thank you for your service. And we deactivate him first because if I, as long as I have a good memory here, I should be able to search this cell and find what I'm looking for. I should be able to search this cell and find all what I'm looking for over there. And then there was another drop planned over here, but that might have gotten picked up already. I'm not sure how it would have because prisoners can't get out this way. So, we should be able to find the cell phones. There we go. We found both of them. And because we deactivated the informant before doing those, that action, their suspicion doesn't rise. It's kind of a way to game the system, as long as you can remember what you're looking for. And they're searching this up here. They're going to find it. There it is. So there you go. See? All good to go. We found what we were looking for. And we're getting money for that, right? Consulting fee? I can't see it. Can't see it. Short-term investment. Uh... 57 hours. Not as short term as I thought it was, but that's okay. We don't have the ability to make superior beds, so there's no reason to have the other one. And after that, we're good. Like, we have no more grants after that. We kind of whipped through that. It was way faster to whip through that than it was last uh, the last series. But this series, right, again, like, because I don't have to build every single cell in its own block, right? Because I don't have to have every single cell looking outside, it becomes way faster to expand, way faster to build. You need way less guards, right? Like, I don't need any more guards. I'm good with guards, I think. Because of the break thing, though, maybe you do, and do you need more guards? Because they are taking breaks? Bump this up to 70. I'm going to end up at 100 after all, won't I? We will see. Maybe not. I have yet to take a single grant, though, right? Like, my credit rating is 1. I've never taken a loan. And that's way different than the last series. And it's because I don't have to put things like radiators in every single cell, right? That's a $200 additional expense per cell. That adds up really fast. Like really fast. Okay, we got more phone taps. Let's, let's hook them up. We'll do four each, I think, is probably a good number. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. This one can have uh, one, two, three, four. And then we had to have an extra one for later, I guess, which is fine. I don't mind that. Same thing with the cameras. We really don't need anyone on this one because this is the one that's monitoring all of them. So, like, we really don't need two of them. I think I might dismantle this and dismantle this until we need them because that is what like the guards will end up going where they need to go another thing is like i'm gonna need a lot of guards because i have a lot of monitoring stations so that's another reason to need more guards i think i'm gonna put like again near the security office right I'm hiring them near the near their point uh i think that's probably good let's add another janitor which i should have done down here it doesn't really matter he has nothing to clean up here uh and then maybe a gardener Kind of thinking a gardener is a good thing. Let's put him in storage. Do I need another cook? I've got six cooks. Six cooks, and they can go on break whenever they want. I think I'm going to hire more cooks. Let's hire two more cooks. Could also look at getting some more prisoners trained up to work in the kitchen. That will help out a lot. So how about we grab programs? Yeah, we have this. Let's stop this and start it again. That will add more people to it. Nice. We'll train them. Workshop safety, nine interested. Let's stop this and start it again. And, oh, it's not going to have. Oh, you know why? Because we need more equipment. Let's get more equipment in here because it's really going to start making us some money. Uh, actually, I want to move the saws to be here. And I want to move the presses to be all together and the saws to be all together. It doesn't really matter, does it? 
I don't think it does. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. One, uh, let's just do one of each right now. Uh, I can't do any carpentry training. I don't really have a need for carpentry training, I guess is what I should say. So I'm not going to. And I think that's it, right? I think for now that's it. So what I want to start doing also is I want to get classrooms going. And I have these lines outlining where I want the cells. That's kind of what these lines are for, right? So the cells kind of go up this way. And how much will they go? Like if, I, if I put the cell all the way up to this door, right? The cell would be something like this. And then there's an extra walkway that people can walk through here. So I'm thinking... Like, rather than having the cells go all the way this way, maybe we stop the cells here and we build our classrooms right here. So maybe we come out, like, how big do they have to be? Um, how big do they have to be? Here we go. Five by five. So if I build the classrooms, one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five. So that would mean the wall's there. One, two, three, four, five walls there if i cut just two classrooms right here that's not a bad that's not a bad trade for space All right two classrooms right here not a bad thing um and it's fairly centrally located to where people are going to need to be anyway i think this is a good idea i think this cell is going to get moved and this is going to end up being a walkway right here through here so they don't have to go around like this i mean maybe it's a good thing to make them go around i don't know but I'm kind of thinking maybe it's not. I want to see how many people end up using the phones here. Yeah, we got dogs. They sniff at them all the time. It's great. It's excellent. Very good news. Um, hmm. I mean, we're going to need more cameras, but it's not a big deal. I'm just trying to think of how I want to lay this out. I'm kind of thinking this is a good idea thing is I also wanted to have a library so I'm also thinking maybe th none of these will be cells and there'll just be a library here and a store and a common room <laughs> I need all these things we could probably with the remaining money we have we have 25k I have enough to expand it so maybe we take and go like Maybe this far? Maybe that far. Now, I want to make sure that they can't get out, obviously. So this fence is going to have to be expanded out. But rather than expanding this one, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this one. And bring it all the way out to the perimeter. And all the way out here like this. And then all the way out like this. And then down. So that gives my workmen a lot to do, but that also locks in the prisoners. It's gonna, well, it doesn't lock them in. They can get out, but at least there's a fence around the, all the way out around the outside. So if they do dig from down here and they get out this way, I don't mind them digging here anymore, right? I don't have to have this fence go. I'm probably gonna extend this fence anyway because fence is very cheap uh, and it's good to have double layers on things, but it doesn't really matter as much anymore as long as we get that fence in. So I'm kind of okay with that. I think. I think that's what we're going to do. So in the next episode, what we'll do, I'll have this fence already built in. And then we'll build the classrooms. I'll probably decide what I'm going to do with this space. We're going to expand this way. I don't know why it says we need an entrance. We don't. So how about we just go ahead and uh, we'll just put a door here. It doesn't need it, but we'll... Oops. There we go. Oh, damn it. See what you made me do? <laughs> I'm blaming the viewers now. It's all your fault, viewers. It's all your fault. I'm going to go this way now. Maybe that's a little bigger than before. Maybe it's a little smaller. I don't know. This door goes there. Is that not good enough? Really? That's not part of it. Fine. We'll put the door here then. How's that sound? Weirdos. That's going to do it, guys. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're not already. There's plenty more to see. Come on back. I know you guys are thinking like this is like a daily thing. And it kind of seems like it is, but it's not. It's just that I've happened to have a little bit of gap in my work schedule, and I thought I'd get some progress on it. But uh, 
don't expect this daily, please. I know you guys are always asking, like, in the comments. I get this all the time now, all of a sudden. All of a sudden, there's an influx. Like, is there a one today? Is there one today? Is this daily? It's not daily. It's as often as I can. And lately, that's been daily. But don't expect it to continue daily forever. Um, maybe every other day. But we'll see. $60 consulting fee. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.